guys, superheroes. I'm Pig Phoenix coming to you from Purdue University's College of Veterinary Medicine. I'm with League of Veti Humans, and this is Veti Humans Live. Welcome to season two, where we are following our Veti Humans in training veterinary students from their journey from before veterinary college all the way to doctor and beyond. I'm your host, Sandy San Miguel otherwise known as Pink Phoenix, and I'm excited to get started. Today, our special guest is Amanda Conda. <laughs> Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. All right. How long have you been in vet college now? What week is it? Okay, we just ended week five, so a little over a month is completed. What's it been like so far? Is it what you thought? You know, it actually hasn't been that bad. Like, it's really it's really not that bad when you think about it cuz we had our first like our first two rounds of exams are finished completed and they went well so I'm really happy about that. Nice. And, Congratulations. Um, thank you. And what else? Um yeah, it hasn't been too bad so far. So I I'm I'm chilling. Hey, I love it. <laughs> Have you encountered any challenges or what's been anything that's been challenging? One thing that was a little challenge and how are you overcoming it? I would say so. Okay. So, so far, I feel like I have been like doing okay. A uh, challenge that I anticipate that will happen or like I'm like working actively not to let happen is like getting behind. So like yeah. I've been like really trying to like do something every single day, like a little bit every single day. So I don't get to that part where I'm like super behind and I feel like I need like catch up. So like I'm actively trying not to do that and I haven't let that happen yet. So I'm really excited about that. I love that. Yes. That's so proactive. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good habits. So what's been the best part of that college so far? I guess like the best part is like like actually learning something that you can like apply to like your career because like in undergrad I felt like I was learning all this knowledge but like it wasn't applicable to like what I'm doing so it's like I'm learning it just to like like have it but then I'll just like forget it but then like what we've been learning in the past like month we've been like being able to like incorporate it in everything we have been doing and it's all like meshing together and like connecting so I'm like okay this all makes sense now and like I understand why we're learning it because like we need to know it you know what I mean can you share an example um I guess like for physiology and like foundations so we've been like learning about different what do I say like like mechanisms and stuff like that and so in A&I we had like a case about um blood and about like how like glucose gets into the cells and all that stuff and and in nutrition also we were like learning about the foods you eat and like the nu nutrients you get and how it gets into the body but then that like ties into like like the glucose sodium like mechanism that I just learned like a couple weeks ago so it's like I didn't have to just like memorize oh like glucose is accompanied by like sodium when it goes into the cell like I already knew that because I learned it and I was just like oh my gosh what a coincidence it's wild when everything starts it coming is. together <laughs> and then wait till you get into clinics you can really apply it yeah what is the coolest mechanism that you uh, learned about or anything the coolest thing that you have learned probably so i really really enjoy anatomy so I've been learning like to read radiographs and like do ultrasound and I think that's like the coolest thing ever because before like vet school I would just be like holding like restraint for like the doctors and they're like this is the kidney this is the bladder and I'm just like uh-huh uh-huh and now I can like actually be like okay I can see that now like before I was just like okay <laughs> so, that's yeah. exciting mm -hmm. yeah I remember uh Diagnostic imaging was always challenging for me. Yeah. So you've gotten to go on some community visits. Mm -hmm. How has that been? Um, it's been really fun. The kids are so funny. They're they're literally hilarious. Um, they're 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 funny. Um, and it's like it's like super cool, like teaching them about like the stuff we're gonna do, and like when they are actually like answering our questions and like being engaging, it's like cool because it's like 
when I was younger, when I was at that age, like I would have wished like someone like or an organization could have like came and like taught me about stuff like this. And so it's cool to see that they're actually like engaged and like interested in what we have to say. So yeah. what's the funnest thing that you've gotten to teach so far? Um, Probably just like the different instruments we have and we get to use. And then like, it's cool that they like actually remember what it's like for. Cause like, like a balling gun, like I wouldn't have known what that was at like their age, but like now they do. So it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. That made me proud too, because mm-hmm. we had done that with the third graders last year. and They mm-hmm. remembered it. <laughs> they're taking what they're learning in school and remembering it after school. Yeah. And they were so happy too. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. Every month, I am going to ask you for a goal for the next month. Okay. So what is one thing that you want to work on to be a better student, human being, veterinarian, anything at all to be better next month? Um, I probably want to get, okay. So like I've been starting to doing like group studying, which in undergrad, I was not a group studier at all. Like I just did like studying by myself, like last minute studying but I haven't been doing that now so that's good but I've been doing like pro- or, um, group studying and in like the groups I feel like we all like kind of are at like the same like like level of understanding and then when we get to talk it out it like helps us and it helps everyone but then like when say like someone's like gonna ask a question for someone to explain it and then like we're all confused but most of the time I feel like I know it but I just don't want to confuse anybody else. So I just like keep it to myself because I'm not that confident in like the knowledge. But then like when I like take the exam and like it ends up being fine, I'm just like, okay, so you actually do know the knowledge. And so like, I feel like in group studying, I should be able to like, I should just be more confident in my answers, if that makes sense, in my knowledge. So I can like help other people, but also help myself by like explaining it to like teach. So I'm going to try to do that more like being more confident that makes total sense Mm -hmm. and yeah it's hard to speak up i still have a hard time speaking up Mm -hmm. (laughs) i love that you're working on that good job good thank you (laughs) all right let's talk personal care tell me about eating sleeping taking time for fun things or managing stress what are you doing um so i've been i've been going to the gym twice a week and i i've been going at 5 a.m so I'm still doing it. So we're doing good on that. And then as far as like meals, I have been meal prepping too. And I haven't fallen off the chain. Like I designate my Sundays for like meal prepping, grocery shopping for the week. So I don't have to like worry about like any meals during the like during the school week. And so I've still been doing that. Um, What else? We haven't been doing too much like social activities like outside of studying on the weekends but I did go to the aces versus fever game last Friday in Uh Indianapolis so that was really fun that's Um, very cool (laughs) yeah so yeah I we're, we're gonna try to do better at like doing actual social like getting out of the house because every single weekend like since med school started like we've only been studying like from sun up to sundown on Saturdays and then on Sunday we'll like go to church but then we'll just go straight back to studying so yeah but good that you're keeping up and keeping that balance nice yeah. job going to the gym <laughs> what has been your biggest win in the past five weeks my biggest win has probably been the foundation exams because in undergrad I okay I'm gonna be honest I did not pay attention to biochemistry at all in undergrad. So like I did not retain anything. And so when we got here and we started learning biochemistry, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna have to lock in. I'm gonna have to lock in. And I did. And so like this second exam that we took this this past Monday, oh my goodness, that was probably the worst exam I had of my life. Like I was sitting there like during the exam and I'm like what is she asking and so like I was just like oh my goodness and I walked out and I'm like this is this is like that was probably the worst I ever did but I actually did like fine so that was like a huge relief off my shoulder and I felt I felt so good after that because I was just like oh my goodness like I was like expecting the worst so that was a good win 
that that builds confidence. Mm-hmm. So tell us more about foundations. What are some of the things you're learning? What's the <laughs> class? What's the class about? And what are just some of the highlights topics? So basically, the class is like a crash course on like like biochemistry. So we're like learning the different types of like cells. We're learning like the different type of like receptors and mechanisms that like when proteins come in and out the cell and like stuff like that and it's almost over we just had our last lecture but we had our last lecture on Wednesday and then today we just went over our exams and then the final exam is next week so it's only a six-week course and I think it's I think what like the reason we take it is like for everyone to get the same like basis of knowledge because like what I've seen in the class, like we use it in other classes. So it makes sense that we all need to like take it and like know that knowledge. So yeah. And it's a short course, right? Mm-hmm. It's Yeah. How much longer do you have? We have one more week, but it's not even of like lectures or anything because um our final exam is next Friday. So oh, and we wow. have five weeks of like lectures and then in labs and then the sixth week is just like the review like on on your own and then you just take the final and then it'll be over it'll be over on to the next thing Mm -hmm. so what's been your favorite lab so far or favorite Um, hands-on thing that you've gotten to do so far probably something in vsac to deal with like the horses and stuff because like in undergrad when i like dealt with horses it was like at a like csu's orthopedic like research like center and all I was doing was like scoop and poop, which is necessary and it's fine. And I'm glad I had that job and like had that experience. But like there was no like learning anything much about the horses. It was just like learning where not to put yourself so you don't get kicked or bit by a horse. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really excited to like be hands on with the horse and like um, learn how to lead them and like do like hoof picking. So that's been really fun. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to share with our listeners about the first few weeks of vet college? Um, if anyone is pre-vet and you're listening, it's vet school so far. It's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. And as long as you just like lean on your friends and ask your professors for help, like everybody will help you because like once you're here, like everyone wants to see you succeed. So it's really not that bad. Excellent, excellent advice. And that made me very happy as well. So thank (laughs) you for sharing that. Of course. Well, thanks so much for being on the show. Listeners, viewers, you can learn more about the League of Veta Humans Superheroes at VetaHumans.org. And if you like this episode, and I know that you did, please (laughs) subscribe, rate, share it with your friends, share it with everybody. And remember, Use your powers for good. good.